Big mouth, big mouth, big mouth. Some just got that loose jaw, shouting louder than the speakers, sprinting all that trash talk. Hey guys, just doing a quick review of the Rimmel London Scandalized Lycroflex Mascara. It just looks like so, and it's in a tube, like a bright green one. Um, when you open the lid, it just has your average kind of one, but it's tapered, if that's the right word. Um, and the good thing about it is, when you shut the lid, it it clicks in so you know it's shut for sure. Um, this mascara is 0.41 fluid ounce or 12 mil, and on the website, unfortunately, I only saw black, so that's a downside. But I applied this um, probably about nine o'clock this morning and nine a.m. Or, yeah, I applied about 9 a.m. and it's now 9.43 p.m., so a good 12 and a half hours later. And the lashes look like so. Oopsie, sorry. The lashes look like so. They're. Uh huh. Um, I have to admit, it did clump a bit. Even though it. Claims to be micro technology enhanced formula for scandalous volume leaves lashes soft and flexible, no clumps. It did clump a little bit, like it clumped the lashes together. But I have to admit, it's probably because I overworked it because I'm used to my other mascara. I wanted to see how far I could work it. Um, one or two coats is definitely sufficient. Um, it feels a bit heavy on the lashes, and I just have to say, though, lashes feel light, but you can definitely feel product on the lashes, if that makes sense. Um, it's very black, and and um, I'm not sure if you can get this. Um, uh, I'm not sure what price this is in the store. Probably in Australia, it's about fifteen to twenty dollars. I have to double check that. And um I got mine for free from a competition, so yeah, um anyway, I will definitely do like I'll use this a little bit more, like three or four more times until the formula kinda gets a bit more what's like thickened or whatever, because it is a nice thick consistency, but it's still got that watery consistency that pretty much every new mascara I get, so uh, we'll just try this out a couple more times and yeah, I'll see if I definitely like it, but first impressions are I do like it, um, it's definitely not for those who, it's definitely not for those who don't like bold lashes, as you can see, now we've got that, it has thickened them quite a lot. Um, to be honest, the lengthening of this is pretty good compared to my other normal mascara I usually use. That's not the same brand as this, but I definitely think this is a good one that I'm going to keep going with and just see how it works when the product kind of dries up a little bit after I've used it a few times. Um, so thank you for watching. Big mouth, big mouth, big mouth.